Hey guys, what's up? I recently moved to a new apartment and I ended up giving my Shark Vertex vacuum, which I really loved to my parents just because it's very lightweight, so it's easier for them to just move around the house and vacuum. Um, so because this apartment had less carpet initially, we ended up getting the Shark Easy Robot, thinking that it was gonna do the job. Unfortunately, I was very disappointed with the Easy Robot just because it doesn't really pick up everything. It picks up dust and stuff, but it doesn't really pick up like just if there's leaves on the floor or if there's like uh, residue from the dog's toys, it won't pick it up. So that was very unfortunate. So I feel like I'm really not getting the clean that I should be getting with this Shark Easy Vac or Easy Robot. So I ended up going to Amazon and I got another Shark Vertex, but this one is Amazon Renewed. I've never purchased anything that's renewed or refurbished on Amazon, so I'm super uh, curious to see how the quality is on that. I was still able to get, I believe, three years of uh, insurance, the Assyrian or Assyrian insurance on it, so that made me uh, a lot happier. But I also didn't want to spend another $300 for another vacuum. Um, it was definitely worth the purchase, but because we just moved, I don't have that extra money to just let out. So I got this uh, Shark Renewed from Amazon and I'm gonna open it up and see what really comes inside it. I know that there's been um, comments on the review section of these purchases where it says like, you might get the whole thing or some parts were missing or, it, you know, so it's hit or miss. So I wanted to try this. I paid $64.99 for this thing. Imagine paying $64 for a Shark Vertex vacuum. Insane. Um, so yeah, it just arrived. This one is uh, the Shark Performance Corded Ultralight Vacuum. Uh, Self-cleaning brush roll, and it also has power and precision, which is similar to the one that I had. The one that I had was the Pet Vacuum, uh, the Pet Vertex. So it had all the extra essentials for it. So I can just take that from my old one and use it with this one. So. Um, let's open it up. All right, so let's put this here. Okay, so there we go, right there. Here's the roller, or the main, comp yeah, the roller. So, let's open this up. I'm gonna slide this over. Okay, so you could tell that there's been some use on it. Um, so basically what renewed or refurbished is, it's an, an item that didn't work or someone returned it. Uh, so it goes through Amazon's process of making sure that it is appropriate to resell or it's in working condition before they can put it back on the market. So this is it. Sometimes it'll come with the original box. Sometimes it might come with an, a, a different type of box from Amazon. Um, so I got lucky that it came in the original box. So there is a little bit of wear on there. You can tell that it's been used, um, but it looks like Amazon also cleaned it too. So yeah, there is a little bit of wear in the wheels. The brush looks like it's kind of gone through it. It's all right, there's insurance. Cool, everything else seems to check out. I'm just glad there's no like hair inside. All right, let's see. Perfect, so this one does come with the additional accessories. They're still sealed. Uh, so this was a hit <laughs> so far. Awesome. How do I do this one? There we go. Oh, nice. Okay. So it just slides back up so you can use the brush or if I can figure out how to do this. It's cool because my, my original vertex comes with like three, three or four different p 
parts. This is two parts in one, so I'm already happy about that uh, because I can just store it in the vacuum and it comes down to this. So this is the crevice tool. If you want to use the brush, you just push it up. It's not that easy. Oh, you can also take the brush out, unless I broke it. And there you go, now you have the brush. What is this, the dusting crevice? No, upholstery, okay, perfect. So this is perfect for our couch. There's the upholstery tool, doesn't look like it's been used either. So that's awesome. I like this. And then obviously the instruction manual. This part out. Let's get rid of that. All right. Here's the stick. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you could tell that there's a little bit of wear on it, but again, there's no issues here. So let's put that on here. There you go. And here is the most important part because this is where the technology or the, the motor for it is. That's a really long cord, unless it just looks long because it's not on here. Okay, so this looks like it's in its original package. So you could tell that there is some use on it uh, just because it's kind of dirty back there or inside, but it's all right. The filter is still good. Let's open up the filter. Yeah, the filter is still good. So I don't know if this is an original part. It doesn't look like an original part. No, it is perfect. It's different from my old Vertex. So filter is good. That makes me happy. I wouldn't want to vacuum with other people's like shit in their, you know, in the vacuum, right? Cool. Everything looks good. Checks out. All right. So this is where the motor is. Um, this is the storage tray or uh, container. Once this gets full, you can toss it, open it up, toss it in the trash, but you can also wash it. That's what I really loved about this. So it can always just be clean. Um, one thing that I love about these Vertex vacuums, the first time that it happened to me, I freaked out. I thought I burned it out, but I love that their motor has this safety where if it starts to get really hot, it just shuts off automatically for about 24 hours. 24 hours is a very long time. I hate that. Uh, I won't be having that issue here because like I said, it's an apartment, there's less carpet, but it shuts off automatically for it to cool down in order for the motors not to burn out. So if that happens to you on your Vertex or your Shark, don't freak out. It's part of a safety. Um, just let it rest, let it cool down for a day and then you can come back to it. I hate the fact that you have to come back to it, but you know, it's better to come back to it than having to buy a whole new one because you burned it out. So. And I try and usually vacuum early in the morning so it doesn't really heat up, especially on hot, on hot days. So this is where, let me actually remove this. Let's take this off. I wanna drop it. Um, and as a heads up, this does not stand by itself. So don't, connect it and then let it let it stand up it will not it will break it will fall and something will break but when you put it away it has a storage hook right there so you can just pop it right there so it's i mean it's very convenient um 
but I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right, so let's do, let's do this. I like this tone of blue. My other one is a darker blue, but this tone is cool. There you go. So all in all, this is what it's going to look like when you set it up. There you go. It's the dual clean. You can remove this and just use this to get into crevices where you can, you'll attach the tools. You just attach them to here, just like that. And then this is for upholstery. And same thing with this one, the brush tool. And then if you wanted the crevice tool, there you go. Super simple. Uh, I love that when you turn it on, it'll have two modes here showing up. So it'll show uh, either floor and rug or carpet. And then you'll just click on floor type here until you get the right one. And that way it's, it will vacuum the appropriate or the, the right kind of floor type. So um, it's super simple. There's no real tricks to this. There's no, like you don't need the instructions. It's super simple to use, which is why I love these vacuums. And they, they clean up so well. They pick up more than I expected it. And I don't know if you saw my previous video, but I went from a Kirby vacuum to a shark. And I thought the Kirby was doing a great job until I put the shark on the stairs. And I was very surprised how dirty those stairs were, even though I had just cleaned it with the Kirby. So I'm excited to um, test out this on our new carpet and see what the Shark Easy Robot actually picked up, if anything. Um, I would recommend that every, I usually do it every 30 days. So yeah, every month I'll usually remove this right here, the filter. And then I'll remove the sponge and then I will remove this filter right here as well and just clean it up, especially the, the, the sponge because it's going to have so much stuff in there. If you, if you have a lot of hair, like either from your pets or you, you yourself have long hair, it's usually going to get caught here. Same thing with the dust. So I usually just run it through warm water, wash it up and then just let it dry. Um, so then I can use it. You'll see the difference. Once this starts to get filled, your vacuum's not going to suck up as much as it usually does. And then once you clean it, you'll see the difference. So highly recommended. It. It's good maintenance to do. It's also in the instructions. I know some people don't do it, but, uh, every 30 days clean this up. It's going to improve the quality of every, uh, cleanup that you do. So there it is. So like I said, I got this on Amazon Renewed. Um, it was $64.99 and then the insurance for three years, I think was an additional $12 or something along those lines. I think I paid like $80 with everything um, and it's accidental insurance as well. So that is beautiful. Um, there's plenty more. I'll leave the link to this in the description section below. And thanks again for watching. Uh, I'm not doing a review just because I did a review before on my old vertex. I just wanted to show you what I got with this Amazon renewed shark vacuum and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. Um, if you guys can save a few hundred dollars by doing Amazon renewed, I mean, by all means, go ahead and do it and have that peace of mind of getting the insurance that is accidental insurance as well. So thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day or night and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.